Hello, hello, it's time to play some blue-white. We're going to play first against Fuzz65. Once we stop lagging, okay, we will keep. Solid hand, a little bit of everything. So what is he doing? Playing an island and a delver. All right, so I'm not sure if we're going to try Gideon's Reproach. I do have a stop set. Let's see if he flips. Well, we don't know if he's mono blue. If he's just going to attack like this, I'm going to Gideon's Reproach because, well, he could just have Mountain. Kiln Fiend, and that would really punish us, but I think that's like the only thing that would punish us super hard. So I think I'm just going to take the opportunity to kill this guy. No one ever plays around Gideon's Reproach, is not really a known quantity. And he could still be blue red. He bottom bottom, so he might be looking for that land. And he is blue red. Now, sadly, we didn't hit our land, but I don't think we can afford to try and dig for an untapped blue. So we're just going to have to try and counter his Kiln Fiend slash Nivix Cyclops and hope, hopefully get a land in our next draw step. So he might be looking for another threat. They're not very threat dense. And this is super awkward, but I'm still going to just pass. I mean, this is really awkward. So I'm going to counter this. He may have a dispel or just a uh, another guy, but I'm not just going to give him a free threat. All right, so actually we're looking really good. This matchup's been working out quite well so far. Graph, so maybe he's more of a control build. I don't think so, though. Let's cast Preordain. Looks like he's going to get back his Delver of Secrets. We're getting to the point where we're going to be playing a bunch of stuff that invalidates it. Sadly, I'm going to bottom both of these because... ...land. And we didn't. We are only playing 22, but this is typically not how things go. He did not use the Fen Graph, so it looks like he's more interested in keeping his lands intact. He might be playing Mole Drifter. All right, so this is really interesting. He's actually just blue red control. And now he wants to counter back. That's all right. I'm going to make him fight for it, and then we can do a number of things depending what we draw. I mean, we can play our own Mole Drifter potentially. We can play Geist, which might be a problem for him. So I think it's Preordain and play Geist. I have not seen this matchup. It's really refreshing to see a blue-red control deck out there, but... I think we definitely want our land drop. I, I'm i going to forego the Oblivion Ring for now. I don't think he's playing a ton of threats. It could be the case that, you know, that's a card we want. But... So now he's digging. He's definitely got some removal. He's got another Haunted Fen Graph. So that's his colorless land of choice. I'm going to go ahead and take the block here. We're just going to be trading resources throughout this game. He's probably just going to Flame Slash it. Boom. So good old two for one. He's, he's on four cards. There's a lot of stuff we can do here. I think I think I actually want to play Talisman and then go for 
compulsive research. And if that doesn't resolve, we've got a lot of card draw coming down the line. So we've got double deep analysis next turn if we want it. Yeah, if he's just countering our basic card draw, I think it puts us in a pretty good spot because it, in the long run, we're going to run him out of, of action. So I'm going to do deep analysis first. It's not in his best interest to counter that. And you know what? I'm actually just going to run it back. Because we have a tapped land on the horizon. Cool. So we're just really stacking up our resources. We're going to try and win on the back of our, our second Geist and some other stuff. Okay, now he's he's going to fight. Um, we we got a bunch of removal. We might even be able to just run him out of dudes. So he didn't hit Moldrifter. He hit Double Delver, which is fine for us. Uh, we're just going to handle these creatures. Should I preordain first? Probably. If I find a dispel, then I can more easily fight over the removal here. Serrated Arrow is also pretty awesome. I think I want both cards. I want to continue. Two, four, six, seven, eight. I think I want to continue. I guess I can bottom the land. I was going to say, I guess I can continue hitting land drops. but So do we just run this? Two counter spells already. Yeah. He needs two counter spells to stop this from doing anything. So there's his third counter spell. I'm actually going to bounce. I'll bounce an island. So this serrated arrows is going to make it very hard for him to. To win the game because again both of our decks are pretty threat light I think our deck is more threat dense than his and he didn't flip so that's pretty sweet here comes a what was that flashback okay boiler works so one of his hands is a land I think it's a mountain might be an island and we'll start here I'm just going to go for this. We could go for Ephemeron. Um, if this doesn't resolve, I think I might just suspend the Ephemeron. Without resolved. Draw Terramorphic. Uh, yeah, I'll just suspend the Ephemeron. And for the sake of time, I'm going to sack. And he's going to kill my guy. We're about even on cards. I don't know that this game's going to go to... Oh, he does play Nivix Cyclops, so it's like a hybrid. Well, I'm going to try and kill that. I don't think he picked up a counterspell along the way. I think he just drew the Cyclops. So I think we should actually be good here. I don't think he has Firebolt because he would have used it on the Mole Drifter. I think I don't think he has Mana Leak, but I am going to just play around it just to be safe. We're slightly behind on time, but if we pick up this game one, that's going to help us a lot. He might just kill this now. Played my land. We are a little bit flooded. Mold Drifter of his own. I'm going to save the Serrated Arrows. I'm not going to use it yet. He's probably going to kill my guy. Sure. So I'll, I'll run this. I, I mean, he could have found a... Counterspell with the Mold Drifter. I think he found a Lightning Bolt with it. There's a Preordain and a Sun Lance. I 
Guess I'll take a journey if he has another Cyclops. I'll leave up Think Twice potentially into Counterspell. I have arrows if he wants to attack into my guy. Let's see if we can find a counter just just out of curiosity. It's a dispel, not exactly the counter I'm looking for. I think my ephemeron's coming down. Uh, I guess one more turn. I'm going to stun lance this guy. I'm not going to serrate it. So I have a Dispel to protect the Ephemeron. He used up a third Flame Slash, which is kind of interesting. Also, Talisman's putting us way ahead in terms of you know just being out of reach. Yeah, I'll go ahead and go for the Sun Lance. I got so much removal here. We don't want to discard. 22 cards in library. Um, he's ahead by like a minute. Things are looking quite good. So Ephemeron's coming down next turn. Most likely. Cast that bad boy. That's a real threat. And we'll just bash. So we can't protect it from a fourth Flame Slash. He might also... Oh, here comes something. What did he just do? Oh, Harvest Pyre. Well, I'm going to try and counter that. All right. Attempt successful. And he might be flooded out now. I think he's got some kind of... He has another Harvest Pyre. Okay. So we have another um, Errant Ephemeron to draw. We have Stormbound Geist. We have maybe one more Mole Drifter or something like that. We have more cards than him. I have to pay another one. Go ahead, do it. I think we're actually just lagging. <laughs> He's on one card. There we go. This might be a problem for him. I'll just run it. I think this might be a problem for him. A third Harvest Pyre is kind of unheard of. He's he's drawn three Flame Slashes, so I think we might be able to run with this one. Come on now. There we go. All right, we're getting some hits in. Again, this might be a huge problem. So that's going to gain him a life. Yep. But I mean, like I said, this is a clock. This is really a clock. And he found the flame slash. All right. So now it's down to Stormbound Geist, or we're just going to deck. I don't think we're in a position to try and, you know, not deck. And we have a Dispel. So this is looking good. I don't. I, I think we might be able to get there. So he needs three removal spells. And it looks like he might be out of gas. There's a Bolt I'm going to Dispel. Now he's on three turns. I can, and I drew a counter spell. I can also use my serrated arrows on the Geist if I have to, which will give it a, a second undying trigger if it comes down to that. So this is kind of a uh, moment of truth. I'm actually going to let him have this. I have so much removal. I'm going to let him have that too. A second Mole Drifter, huh? Okay. At this point, I think I can only afford to counter removal spells. Sure. 
I have so much removal, it doesn't even matter. I think he picked up a counter spell. Um, so I'm just going to run all this at him right now. I'm going to save that. I'm going to save that arrow counter, like I said. I don't think I'm even going to draw the extra cards right now. All right, he just concedes, which uh, saves us some time on the clock. That's really great. And he doesn't get to see anything else. So he's basically got four Mole Drifter, four Delver, some Cyclops. I think that's actually few enough win conditions. He does have the four Bolts, or, you know, I'm assuming four. I think that's, a few, I think that's few enough win conditions we can actually run this Curse Plan on this guy. And he's only going to have Pyroblast to deal with it. And that's going to make his Flame Slashes dead. Because I'm going to cut Aaron to Femoron. I might even cut Stormbound Geist. I don't think we need Righteous Blow. We may not even need Sun Lance. He might run the same thing against us, so... Geist is fine, but it just turns on his removal, too. I think we want to do something like this. We want Hydro Blast as well, so we're going to cut some removal, but not all of it. I'm bringing in a third ring in case he's trying to curse us as well. We can probably cut Talisman, even though... Get, with 22 lands, I, I'm a little more hesitant to cut Talisman, actually. I think we want a mix of stuff. I don't think we're going to need four journey and three ring. I think I definitely want hydro blast. Circle of protection red turns off Nivik Cyclops. We could get very defensive and very cheeky here if we want. Um, maybe arrows is, is just not cost effective. Circle is actually really interesting to me because I don't think he can remove that. So let's get that in there. And I think we may want like one other card, one more cut. We can maybe cut a research or a think twice. We still have four, seven, nine, thirteen draw spells. And we can play just another interactive spell. Like a Sun Lance. I think I like Sun Lance for early Delvers, so. Should it be think twice or research? I don't necessarily I don't necessarily want to be that glutted with threes. So in this rare instance, I'm gonna cut that. That's four, seven, nine, thirteen draw. Okay. And we're on the draw. Submit, please. Okay. That was a little scary there. Alright, I actually really like this plan. I think this plan is gonna work quite well against him. And we can keep this hand being on the draw with a preordain. We don't have an immediate answer to Delver of Secrets. He goes to six and keeps, uh, what did he do with it? I don't know. He put it on the bottom. Okay, we can just go for this, but we also don't have to. Like, there's no rush. Especially when it only stops Nivik Cyclops, so it's not imperative that we do it immediately. He's just going to pass. I think I might just slam the Talisman, but I think that's just a little risky, so I'm going to play Preordain. Slamming Talisman just leaves, leaves us open to a lot. So there's a curse, but I actually would rather have the land at this point. I'm still going to take the curse just because um, it's really integral to what we're doing. I don't want to put it at the bottom of my library. And we do have these mole drifters to evoke. So let's see what he tries now. Nothing. Okay, we actually hit a land drop. So I'll just make it. We could play circle here. 
That gives him an opening for Mole Drifter, but I don't know that that matters, because if he goes Mole Drifter, we'll see what happens here. This is pretty big. It actually resolves, so he might not have any counter magic at all. He's bound to pick some up, though. Just passes. So now we have to decide, are we making a move or are we just doing nothing? Both of these kind of take us out of um, being able to cast Counterspell. This is a guaranteed mana source. I think I'm just going to draw the cards, though. This gives us a chance to still hit that island. Okay, he counters it. That's fine. I mean, not ideal, but it's all right. Especially if he taps out for Mole Drifter, we're going to get to curse this guy. Sweet. Um, so maybe he finds a Pyroblast. If I can protect the curse, I will, but otherwise I'm just going to play it and Sunlance. Well, there is a Dispel, so I guess I'll leave it up. And we'll take the damage from the Mole Drifter here. And I should probably slow down just a little bit. I know that the clock is working against me due to the recording program and lag, but... We want to we want to think a little more. Ha. Huh. Well, I do have 3 oblivion rings and he's already 6 cards behind me. So that's interesting. He hits some lands. I think I just want to sunlance his guy here. We are behind on mana, but I'd rather leave up my stuff. Curfew. Yeah, I'm fine with that. He's going to draw more cards. It sets him back a turn. So I think this is actually okay. Yeah, I don't need to counter it. To reset my auto yields. Um, I think we're still going to stay shields up here. I mean, he really has one answer to curse, which is... He's going to play another Mole Drifter. So this one I actually think I have to fight over because I don't have a lot of answers to his, to like a, a thick board. I have one removal spell, but that's about it. So it could be bad if he has an answer to curse, but what the hell is going on? Oh, my phone's going off for some reason. Sorry about that. Some ad playing on my phone. All right, so he counters that, gets his guy. Oh wait, I have another Dispel in hand. <laughs> That's kind of crazy, I didn't even realize. Oh, what a weird, weird situation. Okay, so we could actually play Mole Drifter if we want. Is that better than removing his guy? Maybe yes, maybe no. I guess we'll just counter, huh? We could also play Pristine Talisman, Journey to Nowhere. But we do have an opening here. I think I'll just take it. Does turn on his removal spells, but also replenishes us. I think I'm going to try and thin out some of these lands here. Which we're doing for him.
Looks like he's going to get back his Mole Drifter. Draw more cards, which is good for him, but... We're like four cards ahead. So should I... Oh, he got my other one. Should I flash this back? I don't think so. I think I just journey one Mole Drifter and leave up Counterspell. He's played three counter spells. We've seen two remove souls, a dispel. We have not seen Pyroblast. I'm not sure if he's actually playing it. If he's playing remove soul and dispel, it's not a guarantee that he's got Pyroblast in the deck. And that might be why he's so desperate to like find. Ooh, well, I gotta fight over this because that's gonna change the tide. I don't actually have a way to beat his. Uh, to beat him other than milling him. So if he can mill me faster than I can mill him, that's a real problem. So he's trying to find an answer. He didn't. So he may be SOL. I don't know if he has Pyroblast or not. Ooh, there goes an Oblivion Ring. Hope I can find another one. I play three. Should I keep the think twice? Probably. And I'm going to play it out of my hand. It, it doesn't cost as much as the other stuff. There's a Sun Lance. Let's go ahead and do that number. Deprive's gone. I've played two counter spells. I could still draw a third, so I'm going to wait on the casting the other counter spell. We don't need to worry about Nivik Cyclops, so he has zero ways to remove this. Unless he just has uh, an Echoing Truth or something crazy. So, we need to just stay alive for 10 more turns. He's got so much time on us due to the lag. Keeps both cards. Plays a Haunted Fengraf, so he's going back for Mole Drifters now. I don't think he actually... Uh, he may have boarded out of creatures as well. Ooh, we found the counterspell. That's really interesting. What did we mill? We milled a counterspell, so he's going to be... Uh, pretty much not expecting... <clears throat> um, us to have one in hand. I'll just lay that down. So he kept top and top. There's a deep analysis. He's just passing now. Okay. Not sure what's going on. So he's trying to... I don't know what he's doing. Is he trying to win on the clock? So now I can't afford to draw any cards. He can actually cast deep analysis targeting me. Uh, which I... I actually can let that happen once, but I can't let it happen twice, and I'm not going to draw any cards on my own. I drew a deep analysis here. So I can use it to target him if I want. I have two counter spells. He has seven cards in library. I'm going to have eight. So there's the second one. Uh, I'm still going to wait one more turn on it. Four cards. So now I can try and finish him off. Alright, let's... I mean, we don't have to get greedy here, but... I'm going to try and finish him off with Deep Analysis. I actually only need one to resolve. GG.